Welcome to the art studios with Miss Perna and Mrs. De Group. Okay, kids, today we are going to create a flower in the style of Georgia Oakey. So we wanna make sure that our flowers are nice and big. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curved line from the side of my paper down. Make sure it's nice and big because Georgia O'Keeffe is famous for doing her up close flowers. All right, and then we're gonna add some petals and it's okay if they go uh, off your page a little bit, but you want them to come all the way up and touch the top and the side of your page. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do a curve line, touch, curve line, touch, and I'm gonna do that all the way down until they get bigger and bigger. Curve line up, curve line up, curve line up, curve line up, and another one, curve line up, and curve line up. And then see how we have these little spaces in between? We're gonna draw a couple more flower petals inside and we can do that by doing an upside down letter V and just connecting those flowers. Upside down letter V. Okay. Then after we do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna color them, but we're not gonna color them just one color. We're gonna color them using two different colors. So you're gonna choose two colors for the inside of your flower here and then two colors for the inside of your petal so that this way it looks like they are going to blend together. So I'm gonna choose my two colors for my petals and then I'll do my two colors for the inside. I'll do, let's see, I'll do a pink and an orange. So watch how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start by coloring one color. I'm going side to side. And I'm gonna go almost to the tippy top. Okay, so I'm gonna do that rainbow line again and color that in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of that color to the top. Now with my second color that I choose, I'm gonna go over top of it. So I'm gonna do pink over top of it, but you can do any two colors that you'd like. But see how I'm going over top of that orange and it's mixing those colors together? You wanna mix it, then it looks like your flower is blending. Okay, so I'm filling in all those white spots, going back and forth. Gonna add a little bit more pink down. So it just gives it a more realistic look to it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with those petals. So I'm gonna start by coloring the bases of my petals a color and then I'm gonna color the inside. So I'm gonna start with my purple. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do that for all of my flower petals. So I'm starting with my purple first, and you could do whatever colors that you wanna do. I'm gonna do the same thing for my little ones. I'm starting with that purple first, leaving a little bit of room on the top for my next color. Okay. And then I'm gonna do my next color. When you do your next color, see how I didn't just draw a straight line across? 
we don't want to make it look like the flower was dipped in paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that color all the way down and go over top of some of that purple a little bit. See how it mixes those two colors together a little bit? And I'm going to do that to every single one. So bring it down a little bit. And then you would just keep coloring. And then for the background, choose a different color than you did for the inside of your flower and your flower petals so that this way it stands out. So I'm gonna finish coloring mine while you guys color yours. And then you guys can enjoy your beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm.